Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Karina here. I'm finally going to be doing a fashion hacks video for you guys. How to tuck your sweaters in, how to make sure your thigh highs don't slip down, and how to make sure your miniskirt doesn't write up. So today I'll be sharing 10 fashion hacks using easy things that you can just find in your house to help you step up your fashion game. Let's go! For those of you who love to tuck in your sweaters into your skirts, like I'm doing right now. If your sweater is way too bulky, what it does is it creates this like weird bulge looking like all around your midriff here and that is not attractive. To prevent that, all you need to do is grab a high waisted pair of stockings or leggings or pantyhose, whatever you call these. Or make sure you find one that has like a control top because those tend to be tighter around here. So we're just gonna wear it all the way up but instead of tucking your sweaters inside your skirt like you usually do, we will be tucking in our sweaters into our tights here. What the tights does in this case is compress your sweater however bulky it is. You just need to make sure that it's evenly distributed inside the tights area and there you have it. When you put on your skirt, you no longer have the weird looking bulge. Another great use of tights is they create another friction layer in between your bodycon dresses and your legs so it doesn't ride up as much. The next hack we have is actually jewelry related. So how many of you own necklaces or bracelets and you travel with them or you put them into your bag just to find out that they're a tangled mess afterwards? One way to prevent that is actually to use straw. So I'm using a paper straw here. You can choose to go with any reusable straw that you have lying around at home. It's so simple you guys. All you need to do is unclasp it, stick one end into the straw, and reclasp it at the end. This necklace is from Ana Luisa and I really really like their jewelry collection because they're 100% hypoallergenic and they're made from 100% recycled gold. It's so hard for me to find like tarnished free jewelry like I always buy these like cheap jewelry pieces and after wearing them for like one or two days they get tarnished and I'm like I love their design. I love how it goes with all my outfit. If you're interested in seeing what other selections they have I have a coupon code right here for 10% off. Make sure you check them out. I like to style my gold jewelry pieces with other gold accented accessories that I'm wearing for that day. So even for footwear, I think it really pulls the whole outfit together if you go with something that has like a gold buckle or like a lace up gold detail. Let's say you have like your favorite pair of jeans or shorts or even jean skirts that you love to wear on a daily basis, but then they're just a tiny bit too big. So what you do is you just take the button in the middle here and you loop it to one of the side belt loops. After you loop it in there and then you close the buttonhole. And there you have it. So you can either just wear it out on its own like that or if you think too off about it you can just wear a belt over it and that way it just covers up like the weirdness looking thing. The next hack is for ladies who love to wear your mini skirts or bodycon skirts but always run into the issue of them riding up as you walk. Am I right? Like I can't be the only one. The solution is actually really simple. You can just use double sided tape like I'm doing here. I'm using this one specifically created for fabrics or fashion tape as you call it. But you can grab it from Amazon for like two bucks. What I'm doing here is I'm just placing the double sided tape between the fabric the inner lining of the skirt and my thighs. This hat can also be applied to your over the knee boots. A lot of over the knee boots will fall down as you walk. What I'm doing here is I'm just placing one strip along the side of my leg but if you want a more stronger hold you can place it all around your thigh area but in case you don't have this tape that I do and all you have is double sided tape and you don't want to be sticking tape on your skin you use a thick barrier material. So in this case I'm using over the knee socks. Look at the sock. It's so long. So it actually goes over my over the knee boots. I'm just scrunching it downwards a little bit. If you're really hardcore and you want a super super strong hold while wearing socks. It also keeps you warm by the way. So it's kind of like a win-win. You can just wear the socks and if you don't want to be putting the tape on your skin, you can just put the tape on the socks. That way the tape holds your boots up but what's actually holding on is your sock. Okay, the next hack is actually how to tuck in your sweater into your bra to make it look like you have a cropped sweater. And I use this trick all the time when I'm filming my hauls and you guys are always asking me how I do that. So here is how. It's actually deceptively simple. All you need to do is wear a bra, lift the bottom of your sweater and tuck it underneath your bra. The bottom of your bra will serve as an elastic and it's going to hold the sweater in place so you can do it to the front or you can do it all the way around like I'm doing here so it's really up to you, you know, what preference you have, how cropped you want the sweater to be, that's all up to you. Basically a really really simple way to have a cropped sweater. 
without actually cutting it. Next hack we have is for belts. So I don't know about you, but I've always had that problem where I put on my jeans and I put a belt around it, but the belt is way too long. Like it's way too long to be tucked into like one of the belt loops and the belt itself doesn't have a loop where I need it to be. So when that happens, I find a great hack is to use an elastic band like what I'm using here. I'm just using a clear elastic, the ones that are super tiny, undetectable. But if you don't have one of those, you can also go with one of your black elastics like a hair elastic or like any sort of rubber band would work for this you just need to loop it all the way into your belt for this you might need to like double loop it like this and then when you put on the belt you can position your hair elastic to be exactly where you want the end of the belt to loop into that way it's really versatile and you don't have to rely on your jeans having like the belt loop at the exact right moment for you to tuck your belt into all good. Let me show you an example of this is the type of bra that I wear usually on an everyday basis. Just your conventional bra with straps, you know, here on the shoulder and along the back. You can definitely tell that there's a bra strap. I personally like it when I don't have a bra strap showing when I'm wearing a top like that. So I like to use these kind of stick on bras and this is exactly what I'm wearing right now. They come in a lot of different forms. So this one is a non-silicone one. This one is a silicone one for those of you who like, like a more natural feel to your bras. And I especially like these ones because you can adjust it in the middle here. There's like a shoelace type of thing going on in the middle here. Pull it down and it like cinches in to create that cleavage you want. Say you found your favorite flare skirt that you like to wear all the time but the thing is it's too short and a lot of you have been asking me what I do to make sure you know I don't flash the whole world when I'm wearing like flare skirts like that like what I'm wearing right now so what I do in my personal case is I love to wear biker shorts under my flare skirts to make sure that you know when the wind does pick it up, it's not showing everyone my goodies. The other upside is that they're really thin and they're really stretchy and comfy to wear, super breathable so you don't feel like you're suffocating down there, you know, especially in the summer. This one is going to be how to turn your regular crew socks into no-show socks. So what you do is you just wear your regular crew sock like you would and you just flip down the heel and pass your toe and then loop it backwards up your heel so this way you create a great no-show socks that you can like just slip into any sneakers or flats or Keds or Toms I also find that's a great day to night transition like if you're working in a day and then you want to slip into something like more cool for the night that's a great way too okay guys that brings us to the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something about fashion hacks or so I hope I already said that. <laughs> but if you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And let me know if you want to see more of these hacks in the future. I love you guys. Bye!